Uh, I think it's an honor to be part of such an initiative. Donating an organ is not against any religion or your own so-called thoughts, what you have and your beliefs. I think it's very important that a person you love, if you want them to live on forever, then why not through somebody else? So I think it's very important that you create this kind of awareness among the people and tell them that donating an organ is absolutely right. It's not against any religion. It's not against any God. So it's just that you're saving a life and please do it. Right. Dr. Tamil Nadu leads in organ donation across the country. What are the reasons that have made this possible? To the, here is one thing is we have got a very good initiative from the Tamil Nadu government who is supporting us uh, a lot. And also we got a lot of support from the Tamil Nadu police and traffic police who is supporting a lot for the organ transplant. And also there is a lot of hospitals here who, have, who has got the uh, facility for the multi-organ transplant which is the, one of the major reasons for the highest transplant in the right, Tamil Nadu. Right. When you talk about the role of the government doctor, for example Tamil Nadu police have put in place a green corridor system so that the organs harvested can reach the hospital in the shortest possible time. Tell us about that and what are the other different ways in which we can further improve? Every time with a minute and minute you have a communication with the operating surgeon and the transplant area plus the donor area. So that gives the exact shortest time with the minimal ischemic time we can save the heart or lungs and the kidneys. In That is the, the police people are the main persons who are helping the organ donations. Even in Andhra Pradesh, from Andhra Pradesh to Tamil Nadu, green card is being arranged there. From Bangalore it is arranged there. So the cooperation of all the states also is very important. Right. Little children also participating in the walkathon here. Do you understand organ donation and how important is that in your view? Um, I think it's very important because the organs are, we have two organs, like two, two eyes, if people, after death, like 24 hours, you can use the organs again. Mm. So people, we can donate them also organs. I think so, you yeah, are saving one more life. Let's also go back to Kush before, before she flags off the walkathon. Kushbu, what are the different ways in your view, do you think Tamil Nadu can further improve this? Mm. Awareness, most importantly, awareness. And as I said before, we need to take people away from the religious so-called norms and say that uh, you need to donate, you need to understand that you have to, it becomes your prime duty to save uh, another person's life if you can, if it's in your hands. Right. So I think uh, that is, that kind of awareness is very, very important. And like the doctors have put it, I think the uh, Tamil Nadu government as well as the police is doing amazing job. And when you see the green corridor first it was started, uh, people were quite amazed that in such a short span of time, an organ could reach uh, the person, the, uh, the, uh, the person who needs it. So uh, I think that is a very, very important factor. And people did understand on the roads when you said that green corridor, right. and world over it has been applauded. So I think that awareness is very, very important. Not in the cities, but I would say that the awareness, even in the rural parts, right. uh, is very important. Doctor, what are the organs people can donate while they are still living, after someone is declared brain dead or after one's death? Well, after brain dead, if you look at, you can donate the eyes, you can donate the lungs, the heart, the liver, the pancreas, the skin, yeah. And is it a very complicated system or how does one ensure his organs are donated? No, you can get registered for the registries, whatever out there, or once the patient is brain dead, then right. you can notify the authorities, right. there are right. uh, coordinating authorities right. that will take care of the job. Thank you so much. So, Kushpa, now I would request you to flag off the walkathon. Thank you. And before I end, I also would like to say that people are a little scared the minute you talk about donating an organ. Uh, if you're, When you're alive, you can donate your kidneys. And so that people are a little scared that the minute you donate, probably the donor might not survive or go through the complications. We need to take that away. That's just a process like any other problems you have when you're recovering. It's just a recovery period. So it's not life-threatening uh, for the donor. So that awareness also has to come in. Thank you so much. And if you could kindly flag off the walkathon. Yes, 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 yes. And Kushpa, there are many special children, special children also participating, holding placards here. Yes, we have a lot of special children also coming in participating. So it's nice that these kids uh, who are special, but then they are, they're so special that they do understand uh, the importance of uh, donating an organ. So it's lovely to see all of them here. You can flag off now. Thank you so much. Sir, James, sir. They are flagging off now. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah.
Actor Kushbu on the Marina Beach Road here, flagging off the NDTV Fortis Motor Give Walkathon. And we have people from different walks of life joining this walkathon. Little children from the CSI Special School, also NCC cadets and young walkers who are on the beach here. In fact, Tamil Nadu already leads an organ donation, but this kind of an awareness, this kind of an awareness walkathon, many believe would raise the awareness further and encourage more and more people to donate organs both when they are living and after their death. In fact, this revolution, this people's movement in organ donation of sorts began eight years ago when a doctor couple, uh, the son of a doctor couple met with a road accident and he was declared brain dead and they decided to donate all his organs to give a new lease of life to seven other people and that's how the awareness uh, started and soon it became a people's movement. Tamil Nadu government has put in place a clear, transparent guidelines to make sure the organ donation takes place without any kind of opaqueness in the most uh, transparent way and they maintain a registry listing the number of people who require various organs and they connect with people who are declared brain dead or who are willing to donate their organs.